let's quickly set up a live stream on X, also known as Twitter, using Streamlabs. And we're going to start on streamlabs.com. Just click login at the top, even if you don't have an account. And we're just going to choose the login with X Twitter option. After a few seconds, you should be prompted to set up your account. So just run through that process. You can skip any of the setup dialogue. If it offers you Streamlabs Ultra, you don't need it. But if you want to try it, you can get $9 off with my affiliate link. And it can be useful if you're multi-streaming. If you're prompted to download Streamlabs Desktop, go ahead and do that because we'll use it. And if you want donations, enter your PayPal. Now it's time to load Streamlabs Desktop and log in by clicking on the X logo. Let's set up a basic stream. Before that, let's click on settings in the bottom left. The video tab should look like this. And the streaming section of the output tab you want between 6,000 and 10,000 bitrate. Finally, let's go to audio, desktop audio device. I'll add my headset and mic. I will add my quadcast mic. Press done and underneath the microphone, hit the settings cog, go to filters, edit filters, add filter and we're going to find noise suppression we'll press add and we're going to use rn noise or one of the nvidia options that's going to remove background noise fans ac stuff like that so i've now disappeared because we're now going to add our display and camera firstly we'll add the display underneath sources hit the plus button and we're looking for display capture click add source give it a name you can call it the name of your monitor or just leave it as display capture find whichever monitor you're using i'll use my third display for this capture the cursor and press done if you need to move it around click on it and you can drag it to move it around if you want to make it a bit bigger you just drag things down like i'm doing here and next up let's add in our camera underneath sources press the plus button video capture device add source change the name if you want and underneath device find the correct camera i've clicked the wrong one there we go now i've clicked the correct camera and usually it gives you the wrong settings so i recommend resolution fps type custom resolution at least 1080p if your camera supports it and fps the highest fps available on your camera you see the rest of the settings are fine click close you can see now i'm way too big i just want to be on the side shrunk down so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on the camera at the bottom then i'm going to drag the corners down a little bit and i'll just move myself into place if i want to position myself perfectly i'm going to right click it transform and i'm going to center this one vertically so now it's perfectly in the middle let's quickly make a camera only scene press the plus on the left let's rename it to camera only and once we've done that we press done underneath sources press the plus button video capture device add source but this time it already exists so add source now we've got a full camera one if you just want to chat to your stream and we've got the display if you want to show a game or anything like that when you're ready to go live hit go live in the bottom right corner if you don't have ultra you'll only be able to select one option which is x again you can use my affiliate link in the description for nine dollars off just fill out your information confirm and go live and you're now live Watch this video to learn about how to remove your green screen.